What's up, everybody? It's Kyle from Keystone Production Network, and welcome to another episode of Keystone Academy. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to shorten a full-length song down to about 30 seconds for your social media posts. So when you're cutting music, it's very important that you cut on a beat. That way, your song flows smoothly when you're shortening it. So as you may know, most songs have four beats in a measure or a bar. And what we want to do is we want to cut on the one count of the bar or measure that we're trying to cut out. And that'll make things play a lot more smoothly when we go to combining them later. I've listened to this song, and I know that this is the intro, obviously. Uh, this section, this one, and this one are all about the same. This is pretty similar, but has less of the melodic tones. And this section, along with this outro, don't have as many drums. So when you're cutting down your music, you want to make sure that you're kind of sampling a good portion of each of the sections of the song. You don't want it to be all the same, otherwise it's gonna be boring. You kinda of want there to be ups and downs, slow parts and fast parts. Um, so what we're gonna do is we wanna include a little bit of this intro before we get to this first drop, and then cut that somewhere around here, that way we have our first little section. So I'm gonna play this out and I'm gonna count out loud so that you guys can hear how I'm doing it and you'll see where I cut, or where I create my in and out points on those one counts. One two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four. And there you can see I created an in and out point both on the first beat of their respective measures. So I'm going to drag this down here and it looks like we grabbed about six seconds so far. I actually think I could have gone one more measure on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that really quickly. And I'm just gonna drag this out past where I know it'll be, and then I'm gonna recount it down here in my timeline. So I'll back it up a little bit here. So I'll go ahead and play it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one and I just went ahead and paused it right there. Now I'm gonna bring this in, and that is our first section. So we're just under 10 seconds here, which I think is perfect for the first portion of this. Now we need to figure out what we wanna use next. Uh, like I said, this portion here just has less melody. I'll play a little bit of it for you. So it's just a little bit of a different feel. I don't really think we need that. What I wanna do is take some of this right here, which like I said, is very similar to this section. So I'm gonna take kind of the end of it and use this part where it dips down. I'll play some of that for you. So like I said, this is pretty similar just without the drums. So we wanna find the first beat somewhere in here so that we include the end of this so that it transitions smoothly and then goes into this portion here. So we'll play it from here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. All right. So there we go. We got another section and we will drag this down. So we're just going to kind of pick our sections out for now and we'll go back and refine these later. So I think what I want to do for the next section is basically just cut out this portion and start somewhere around right here. That way we have once again a smooth transition from this part without the drums back into another drop right here. So I'm gonna play it from here. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. There's our next section, so we will add that to the end. And we're gonna basically do that same thing one more time here to get from the end of this section to our outro. So I'm gonna start right here and play again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. All right, so we grabbed another couple measures. We're gonna drag that in at the end. And let's see how this ends and if this is gonna be a good conclusion for us here. Uh, 
Uh, in my opinion, that's a little abrupt. We could put a transition there to smooth that out and we'll probably do that anyways. But really, I kind of want to grab the very tail end here so that it actually fades out as the song actually would. So let's grab one more section here. We'll start playing from about right here. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. All right, so there's another section. And once again, we just add it to the end. All right, so let's go ahead and listen to this all the way through and see how we did just by feel on these transitions. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. We'll go back and adjust them here in a second. And I think that was pretty good overall. There are definitely a couple things that we can tweak a little bit. And really the biggest one I noticed was this transition right here. It just kind of makes a little bit of a jump. So let's listen to this again and see if we can see where I made a mistake. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a default transition and I'm just gonna shorten this all the way to two frames and see if that helps. So let's hear it again. There was still a little bit of a jump, so I'm gonna zoom back in, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull this back by one frame and see if that makes a difference. A lot of times it is these tiniest little differences that will go a long way in making this sound as smooth as possible. There we go, I think that fixed our problem. So sometimes you'll do that when you're counting, you'll get just a frame off, and it'll make that kind of double punch type of sound. And that's something that you do want to get rid of if at all possible. So let's listen to the rest of these and see if we want to make any more adjustments. I think that one was pretty seamless. Let me go into our drop here. I think that one was pretty good as well. And now the difference that I do notice here, although I think it was timed correctly, this portion, because it's at the very end of the song, is a lot quieter than the rest of it. So I'm going to add a default transition here as well, just the full one second standard duration. And we're going to play this out and see if that helps. I think it did help a little bit, but what we can also do is adjust the gain here. And I noticed that we were when we were playing this back, we kind of had a little bit of peaking going on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to highlight this whole beginning section except for the outro, and I'm gonna press G for gain, and I'm gonna go minus two decibels. So now that should be a little bit more balanced out. And what we can even do as well is boost this a couple decibels, because uh, we know this isn't going to peak, so that shouldn't be a problem. So that's now up two decibels, and then we're gonna go ahead and add a default transition at the very end so that it fades out smoothly. And we'll bring it all the way back to the front here, and we'll see how it sounds. Thanks for watching.